I now give the floor to Her Excellency Retno Lestari Priyansari Marsudi, Minister for Foreign Affairs of Indonesia. Mr. Secretary General, I'm here today to fight for humanity. I'm here today to fight for justice for the Palestinian people. I'm here today to call for an end to the violence and for immediate ceasefire to save the lives of innocent people, including women and children. The safety and well-being of mankind is always our number one priority. I'm sure that each one of us are touched when confronted with images of a two-month-old baby injured and pulled away from the rubble as her family lay dead. The only question we should ask ourselves is, how much longer shall we let these atrocities continue? All of us know that this conflict is asymmetric by nature between Israel, the oppressor, the occupying power, and the Palestinian, the occupied who are continuously being oppressed. Occupation is the core issue. The international community owes the Palestinian people a long overdue independent state of Palestine, living side by side in equal footing with all of us. This continued occupation and aggression by Israel does not only warrant condemnation, but it is also a grave violation of international law that demands our actions. Thus, I call the UN General Assembly to take three actions. First, stop the violence and military action to prevent further casualties. At the same time, the General Assembly should demand for an, an immediate, durable, and fully respected ceasefire. All avenues must be exhausted to de-escalate the situation urgently, as we also support continued and relentless effort by the Secretary General. Furthermore, we must be able to prevent future recurrence of the atrocities. In this regard, the General Assembly should call for the establishment of an international presence in al Quds to monitor and to ensure the safety of the Palestinian people in the occupied territories and to protect the status of Al-Haram Al-Sharif compound, the holy place for three religions. Second, to ensure humanitarian access and protection of civilian. Our ultimate responsibility is to save lives. And every minute we spend here deliberating could mean another Palestinian life loss. I call the General Assembly together with UN agencies and other actors to step up efforts in providing humanitarian assistance to the affected Palestinian people. It must urge Israel to open and allow access for the delivery of humanitarian aid, including to Gaza, which has been under siege for more than 13 years. Third, pursue a credible multilateral negotiation. Credible negotiation is very important to advance a just and comprehensive peace based on two-state solution in line with 
internationally agreed parameters. The General Assembly has moral and political responsibility to ensure that peace negotiation take place. We must put a stop to the systematic efforts by the occupying power that may leave nothing left to be negotiated. We must not allow the Palestinian to have no other choice but to accept injustice for the rest of their life. Therefore, we have to stop this injustice now. We have to continue our support to Palestinians to get their independence and justice. Mr. President, in recent days, during the COVID-19 pandemic, we witnessed the erosion of trust in multilateral institutions. Today, we hold this meeting with one main purpose to ensure that justice prevails for the Palestinian. This meeting will be seen as a litmus test for multilateralism. We must remain committed and stand united in our efforts against all illegal acts of Israel toward ending the occupation in Palestine. We have to act now together. UN has to act now. I thank you. I thank the Minister for Foreign Affairs of Indonesia for her statement.